Assalamu alaikum, my name is Hafsa Islam and my role number is PP165-0076. Course number is PHC705 and my assignment topic is Cephazolin. Firstly, what are Cephazolin? Cephazolins are cephalosporin first generation antibiotics. They are used in moderate to severe infections, mild infections with gram positive cocci mild to moderate cholecystitis, uncomplicated urinary tract infections, cardiac procedures, bacterial keratitis. Side effects include anorexia, diarrhea, eosinophilia, fever, increased transaminases, neutropenia, seizures, leukopenia, and most commonly rashes. Dosage, forms, and strengths includes adults, neonates, infants, and children, renal impairment. For adults, 0 0.5 to 1 gram IV Q6 to 8 hourly can be given. For neonates who are less than 7 days old, 40 mg per kg per day IV or IM divided by uh, divided Q12 hourly. For, uh, uh, for neonates who are greater than 7 days old and whose weight is less than 2 kg, they can be given 40 mg per kg per day. IV, I am divided Q12 hourly. For infants and children, 25 to 100 mg per kg per day, IV, I am divided Q6 to 8 hourly, not to exceed 6 gram per day. The, it is the specification here. For renal impair, impairment patients, CRCA less than 10 ml permanent gift therapeutic dose, Q24 hourly. Okay, for uh, alternatives of a drug, alternatives of a uh, this drug include Keflex, amox am amoxicillin, penicillin, and piperacillin tazobactam. Uh, Keflex is ad uh, for uh, adults are available in capsule, oral suspensions, and tablet. These are the available dosage for adults. For amoxicillin, oral solution, capsule, tablets, and uh, chewable tablets are available. <laughs> For drug-drug interaction, serious interaction, uh, or, or for uh, sorry, for penicillin injectable suspensions, six hundred thousand units per ml syringe, one point two million units per two ml syringe. For piperacillin tazobactam injection, lipolyzed powder for reconstitutions are available. Premix available. Premix bags are available with the, the following doses as mentioned here. Drug-drug interaction include serious interactions of cefazolin include interactions of a drug, of a cefa, interaction of cefazolin drug with antithrombin alpha, antithrombin 3, argatroban, heparin. Modern interactions include basidoxyphene, estradiol, probine acid, Mild interaction includes with aspirin and furosemide. Uses of cefazolin include irrational use include cephalosporin include prescription of incorrect doses. Self-medication and treatment of non-bacterial illness as a direct consequence of irrational antibiotic use resistance to the commonly available antibiotics has been increasing rapidly. Rational use of cefazolin is uh, an antibiotic used to treat a wide variety of bacterial infections. It may also be used before and during certain surgeries to help prevent infection. This medication is known as a cephalosporin antibiotic. It works by stopping the growth of bacteria. Now coming to case study. We have a case here. Alan Adams is a 55-year-old man with a history of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease who presents to the ED complaining of a three-day history of tiredness and cough, productive of greenish sputum. He also states that he is more short of breath than usual upon ambulation. The patient has had three admissions this year for chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and pneumonia. So for subjective, here the conditions are mentioned, which are shortness of breath, thick greenish sputum, when cough, and tiredness. History includes COPD for 17 years, HTN 10 years, SP myocardial infection 15 years ago. Medications which were given were, are albuterol, 
ipratropium, oxycodone, aspirin, amlodipine with the mentioned doses. And uh, allergies, he is allergic to cefazolin, facial edema, tongue swelling, perirobital edema, ROS, malice, fatigue, sore throat, shortness of breath and cough with green sputum, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, fever, chills or chest pain. Objectives include his blood pressure is 100 to 65, pulse 91, temperature is 36.4, lungs, thorax, the diffuse crackles at left base, wheezes throughout with poor breath sounds. Labs include sodium 137, K 3.7, hemoglobin levels are 14.8. Checks x ray shows haziness in left lower lobe, SP right upper lobe resection, possible fibrosis. Sputum grain stain test was done, sputum culture test was done, blood cultures are still pending. Now assessment is uh, that uh, it, uh, he might have bacterial pneumonia, multiple allergies to antibiotics, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and myocardial infarction. Plan is suspectability results from sputum culture obtained on admission were finalized and reported. The orders was, were written to desensitize the patient to cefepime. Based on physician's order, outline a cefepime desensitization regimen for this patient. This is the culture result of sputum sample taken on day one and reported on day three. These are all the antibiotics and the interpretation. With this, by the result of this, we have given the plan of uh, the treatment of this disease, of this condition. Mm, that's it for my presentation. Thank you.